guys, Wars of 1207 here, bringing you unboxing, review, and range test on the Nerf Zombie Strike Z Squad Long Shot CS12. So, if you remember what's different with the boxing art, is uh, this is the UK boxing art for the Zombie Strike Blasters. And if you wonder how I got this in the UK, is it is a Smiles exclusive and it just came out about a day or two ago. So, I've got it picked up, we're gonna make a review on it. So this is just a repaint of the original long shot, but without a bipod or front gun. Uh, but it's a pretty cool blaster, comes with some cool dots. Uh, we'll take a look at the box of the blaster. So it's an open face box, it is with the other box art as well. So you can actually touch the long shot and the scopes of this packaging. But it says Zombie Strike Z Squad Long Shot CS12, because it comes with a 12 round clip. Says, yeah, quick reload 12 round clip, uh, long range targeting scope. If we need to flip the box over, if you pause that, you can read the English part of the mission, whatever. And then there's a whole bunch of different languages. If you want to pause there, you can read them as well. And here it's saying long range targeting scope, quick reload 12 clip. And then here it's just the drawn instructions of how to work the blaster, but anyway. That's the box, we'll get into unboxing it now. Okay, what you get inside the box is the instruction manual, the long shot itself, 12 zombie strike darts, 6 of which are the plain green, and then the other 6 is really cool, like syringe style dart. Then you get the bolt, the 12 round clip, and the really nice repainted long shot scope. So if we have a look at the instruction manual, it just shows you how to work it, put the bolts in and everything, it's basic instruction manual. So you put the darts. The clip and the scope to the side. We'll put the bolt on the long shot. So how you do it is, you can see this hole here. This metal bar goes through it, and then this bit clicks onto here. And after you click this on, it's on for good. So basic long shot sounds exactly the same. Uh, no bipod. That's quite disappointing. And then scope goes on here. It's a very tight fit, but that's not coming off. And then you just load in darts. I'm just going to load in the plain green ones for now. So that's two, three, three, five, six. That's how you work it is you pull the bolts back, slide in the clip, push it forward, and fire. Hitting just as hard as the regular long shot.
I'll give you a range test of the zombie strike long shot now. On to the range test of the zombie strike long shot. I will do 12 shots, fired flat. So anyway, let's go on with the range test. 12 shots, fired flat, here we go. Okay, let's go see where the shots went. Our first shot here is sitting on 21 feet. The next shot is at 30 feet. These two shots are at 32 feet. These three shots are at 35 feet. This shot's at 38 feet. This one here is at 39 feet. These two shots are at 40 feet. Then we got a top shot here at 46 feet. With ranges of 46 feet flat, isn't very good, but this is just a repaint of the old long shot with uh, using elite darts so you're not gonna get as good as an elite blaster but anyway that's the range test we'll go into the review of the long shot now on to the review of the zombie strike long shot starting with the function of the blaster you load your 12 darts into the 12 dart clip like so then you get your long shot pull the bolt back insert the clip it's also got a clip release here so you just pull that back and then the clip will come out you don't need to pull it out, it'll just come out itself. And you put your clip in, slide it forward, and pull the trigger to fire. And then you just repeat. Back, forward, fire. The colour scheme for the blaster is pretty cool. It's like a teal turquoise mixture on the body. And then it's got these really nice stripe pattern at the front here. But this isn't orange, it's more of a peach colour. Because compared to the bowel adapter here, you can see they're completely different. This is more like peach, that's proper orange. And then the stock here is just plain grey. On the old one it had like the end strike logo coloured in and then stripes coloured in black. I'll compare that to the original long shot later. And then the scope's pretty cool. It's just orange with a bit of grey on it, but I think it looks really nice. The blaster can take barrel attachments. It can also hold uh, different clips in the chamber and the tactical rail can hold different accessories. So that's what it looks like with a variety of um, attachments and clips on it. The blaster stock can hold clips. I personally like to put six clips in there because it looks a bit goofy with 12 round clips in there, but that's what it looks like with a six clip in the stock. When you prime the blaster, it's got a priming indicator to show that you've got a shot rate to fire. The stock is adjustable. You just flick this, push it down in the locket, you flick it, you flick it again, and then it's stuck in the shorter position. And to get it back out, you just flick it left, then push it back out, then flick it right. And then it's stuck in. Very stable, much more stable than the older long shot. I'll give you a comparison between the zombie strike and the original long shot now. The original long shot comes with a front gun, which isn't the best, but it's cool to get another blaster, while the zombie strike one doesn't. The original long shot has a flip out bipod when the zombie strike doesn't, but the zombie strike one still has the holders for it, they just got too lazy not to put it on there. These scopes are exactly the same, just one is yellow and one is orange. The Zombie Strike long shot comes with a 12 round clip when the original only comes with a Boron Gold 6. But with the older blue one, I believe that came with two yellow 6 round clips when the yellow one only comes with one 6. I'm not sure about the red one though. These stocks are exactly the same, both adjustable, but as you can see, the original has painted bits on it when the zombie strikes just left plain. They both have the end strike logo on it, but they just couldn't be bothered to paint over this. Pros and cons of the zombie strike long shot now, starting with the pros. It's a really simple blaster to use. It comes with a 12 dart mag and a really nice repaint of the old long shot scope. The stock can hold clips, which is always useful. It's got a nice, large, comfortable handle and easy trigger pull. It's got one tactical rail on the top, which is a very nice tactical rail because it holds the attachments very sturdy. The stock is adjustable, so if you're a smaller person, you can have it in the smaller position. It comes with some really cool syringe style darts. It says 10cc, 20cc, 30cc, 40cc, and then it's got like the syringe style here. It's got a barrel adapter. That's it for the pros. Now onto the cons. It lacks in range, but it is just a repaint of an old end strike blaster. They could have painted the scope to match the blaster, because in my opinion, the orange and the teal doesn't go together. 
It doesn't come with the front gun and the bipod. The blaster destroys your darts. It's up to you if you want to pick up the Zombie Strike Longshot. The Longshot itself is a pretty cool blaster and it's nice to see it's on shelves again. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, wasup009, and as always, thanks for watching.